This Yves Saint Laurent fashion advertisement has been banned in the UK after it appeared in LUK magazine and a reader complaint. That order comes from the Advertising Standards Authority, which determined the ad was irresponsible because the model featured was unhealthily underweight. Various groups who help those with eating disorders have since applauded the decision, like Beat, a UK charity. A rep from the organization told CNN, The ASA ruling is not about whether this person in the picture is healthy, but whether the images of her are being used in a way that can have an irresponsible effect on others. And we are really pleased to see that they are taking action to uphold their responsibility for the social impact of adverts. This decision to ban the ad came down just as the Royal College of Psychiatrists told the BBC the number of UK teenagers admitted to hospitals with eating disorders increased in recent years, largely because of social pressure made worse by online images. Now we need to point out that the ad is only banned in the UK. An ad age employee told CBS it's much easier to get ads banned in the UK than, say, the United States. In the UK, one consumer can make a complaint and get that ad banned almost immediately. Here in the US, it tends to be businesses that make complaints about competitors, and it takes a longer period of time. YSL is no stranger to having its ads and models criticized either. In 2011, the Advertising Standards Authority banned the designer's commercial for its Beldopium perfume, pointing to a specific part where the model draws her finger up her arm. Some interpreted that as simulating drug use. And a blogger in Los Angeles created a Change.org petition over a year ago to push YSL to stop using images of painfully thin models. The petition closed before it reached its necessary 50,000 supporters. Neither the designer nor LUK have commented on the Advertising Standards Authority's decision to ban the advertisement. For Newsy, I'm Catherine Beek.